Welcome to Crew Tube. I'm Captain Crude. NFL is rigged. We know that as usual, but we're on draft day eve. NFL draft. Why in the world is this such an event? I don't get it. See, in the old days, because I'm 53 and I remember the draft, what it used to be, wasn't held in Radio City Music Hall or in some fucking arena somewhere. And, you know, the the commissioner of the league back then, it was Pete Rozelle and then Paul Tagliabue. You know, they weren't going on stage and hugging all these instant millionaires or anything like that. Guys were just getting drafted. They get a phone call from the coaches. Hey, we just drafted you. We need you to come down tomorrow. We're going to set you up with an air, you know, an airplane ticket, and you're going to come down and play for the Buccaneers. Hey, yeah. okay. But I look at it like this has gotten way out of hand, and it's all for the almighty dollar. They're making this draft out to be the biggest event in the month of April. Which is okay, but it's a draft. Who cares? All you're doing is watching guys become instant millionaires. That's what they've worked for their entire young lives, up to, I guess, 21, 22 years old. This is what they've worked for. They had the talent to get to professional sports. Then you make the money, and this is what it's really about. So, the NFL is going to parade the prime beef up on stage and have Roger Goodell hug them with all his might because he needs those tackling dummies, if you will, to boost his ratings. That's why he loves them so much. But it gets it gets to me that you have all these pundits everywhere, armchair pundits, these guys who think they know everything about the draft, such as you-know-who, yeah, Mel Kuyper, this guy. Where did he come from and why does he have that job? You know, he's like the Dave Meltzer of professional football. Dave Meltzer is the guy who always seems to want to say, I have inside dirt on professional wrestling, which is a scripted sport. And he's usually wrong. Same with Kuiper, usually wrong. But it's the way it's presented to the public. It's the way it's sold to the public. Kuiper has a way of talking that it's, it's He's like a great car salesman. He'll sell you that car and tell you why you should buy it a hundred different ways. It doesn't mean when you pull out of the lot with that car, it's going to last very long. You see, that's, that's the thing about this NFL draft shit. This is all a money-making scheme, so everybody tunes in. Now you, you tune in to see the first round, and they stretch it out over like four hours. Four fucking hours. Teams have all this time in the world to figure out their draft strategy, and the NFL wants to make this, like, prime time on a Thursday. You betcha. What else is on tonight? A little NBA playoff, some NHL, a little baseball, whatever. But I'm sick and tired of seeing these guys who think they're experts getting these high-paying jobs with ESPN. Disney owns ESPN. Who's really giving their true evaluations out? All you're doing is taking a paycheck from Disney, like virtually everybody on ESPN. It makes me sick. It's like, I ever, if I actually wanted to get on the air and play ball with those motherfuckers, you see, that's why I wouldn't be doing that. Because I would call them all motherfuckers for lying through their teeth and leading people on to believe something that's not true. That's what they do on these channels. What do you think of the NFL is? They want you to believe, you know, this quarterback out of USC is the best quarterback ever. He's going to go first pick or second pick, and teams are going to trade up to get him. I don't know. Who knows, really? Once a player gets to the NFL, he may have, you know, the body and the speed and everything. He may not have what it takes to succeed in the NFL. Unless you're not a highly regarded player like Tom Brady, 
I always mention him, Mr. Sixth Round Pick himself, and he could be molded into a system quarterback. This is all about creating the star before they step on the field, putting millions of dollars into their pocket before they step on the field. I think I saw uh, that quarterback from the Jets, Zach Wilson, I think he just got traded to the Broncos. Yeah, he got traded to the Broncos, but I I was like, man, he was like a first-round pick. I think the second pick in the draft or something out of Brigham Young. Brigham Young. So he's coming from a Mormon school, and he's a total bust, but he made bank the day he signed with the Jets. I think he got a $25 million signing bonus. Imagine that. You're 21 years old, and you get a $25 million signing bonus. What incentive is there to play at that point and get the snot knocked out of you? There is none. This guy knows that. The only thing is, the guys who really want to become super disgusting wealthy, they keep going. So you can make like the really huge money. The guys, you know, not the most, you know, you got guys who make like 20 million a year and they're kind of no name guys. Not like the quarterbacks who all make 30, 40 million now, but the 15 to 20 million dollar a year guys. That's what they all want to be. So that's what this draft is all about. Everybody getting to see who these guys are without their helmets and uniforms on so they could be marketed out accordingly. Sponsors are looking at these guys, looking to see if they're photogenic and they have a personality or a smile or something about them to market to NFL fans. This is what the draft is all about. It's like finding the greatest player, and I'm going to use Zach, Zach Wilson again. Was he the greatest quarterback ever to be picked number two? No. He's pretty terrible. He's not very tall. Yeah, he can run around a little bit, decent arm, but he was picked because the Jets are owned by the Johnson family, Johnson and Johnson, and somehow this Wilson has connections to that Johnson family. I forget how, but they have connections. His family has connections to the Johnson family. So it was like drafting your your nephew or something, a cousin, two in the draft, making this guy seem like he's Superman and he's a chump. See how that works? He was a prime example of that. They bring him to New York. He looks like a total fruitcake. He doesn't look like a football player. He looks like a goody two-shoes kind of guy. I, I watched him play twice, and I'm like, this guy doesn't have it. If you're going to play in the NFL, you should have some talent. They'll manipulate you, that's true, but guys like Zach Wilson going to like Denver to sit on the bench or whatever, who cares? But he made bank, and that's what these players are looking for. So, there's my little speech in the NFL draft. It's one big pageant. Beauty pageant with Roger Goodell as your host. Ugh. Who wants to look at him for like an hour? Oh, geez. And hear him in a smug motherfucking smile on his face. So if you can stomach it, watch it tomorrow. I'm not going to watch. I don't care. I'll look at, you know, who gets drafted where in the morning before I leave. And then we'll just take it from there. So until I see you next time. Peace. Cheers.